Hello my dear friends, welcome back to Infigyan. Today in this video we have one very very interesting question from algebra. We have to evaluate expression x minus y over x whole power 100 plus x minus y over y whole power 100. If known equation is x square plus y square plus xy equal to 0. So let's get started by considering this is our required expression E. Now denominator we have x and y. So I can write here x and y cannot be equal to 0. Now we will begin with known equation. I will write x square plus y square plus xy equal to 0. Now in our required expression in the numerators we are getting x minus y. So we will try to make x minus y whole square in LHS. So I will subtract 3xy from both the sides. Now in LHS we will get x square plus y square minus 2xy. And in RHS, we'll write minus 3xy. So LHS will give us x minus y whole square. So we'll write x minus y whole square equal to minus 3xy. Now power is 100, x minus y whole power 100. So I will raise power 50 to both sides. So I will write here whole power 50 in LHS. So in the RHS we will put power 50. Now we know one powerful exponent law which says a power b whole power c. We can multiply both the powers and write a power b times c. So we will write x minus y whole power 2 times 50 is 100, which is numerator for our required expression. And in RHS, if I will write, then minus 3xy whole power 50. I will write RHS, let me write here, x minus y whole power 100 equal to minus 3xy whole power 50 which we can write minus 1 whole power 50 times 3 raised to the power 50 times x raised to the power 50 times y raised to the power 50. Now we know that minus 1 with even power is always 1. So here we will be writing 1, we will get, this is 1, we will get 3 power 50 times x power 50 times y power 50. Now the turn of required expression E, which is written here. So I will split numerator and denominator. I will write x minus y whole power 100 over x power 100 plus x minus y whole power 100 over y power 100. Now we have to plug in value of x minus y whole power 100 which is 3 power 50 times x power 50 times y power 50. So I will write here 3 power 50 times x power 50 times y power 50 over x power 100 plus 3 power 50 times x power 50 times y power 50 over y power 100. Now we can take 3 power 50 common out. So we will write 3 power 50 in bracket x power 50 and in denominator x power 100. So we can cancel x power 50 from the numerator and denominator will become 
x power 50. So I can write y power 50 over x power 50. And here we will be writing x power 50 over y power 50. Now using exponent law, we can write our expression e equal to 3 power 50 in bracket y over x whole power 50 plus x over y whole power 50. Now, now we will consider y over x equal to alpha. Here we will write alpha and x over y we will call beta. So, our required expression in terms of alpha and beta will be 3 power 50 times alpha power 50 plus beta power 50. Now, we have to calculate alpha and beta first. So, I will find out alpha times beta value first. So, alpha is y over x, beta is x over y, we will get 1 product 1. Now the turn of alpha plus beta. We will write alpha value as y over x plus beta is x over y. We will take LCM. We will write denominator x y. So in the numerator we have to write y square plus x square. And our known equation was x square plus y square plus x y equal to 0. From this equation, we can calculate x square plus y square. So, we need to subtract x, y from both the sides. We will cancel plus and minus x, y term from LHS. We will get x square plus y square equal to negative x, y. This value we are going to apply here. So, we will write minus x, y over x, y. Now xy and xy will be over. We will get alpha plus beta value negative 1. So alpha beta is 1. Alpha plus beta is negative 1. Now we have to calculate this expression. Let us calculate. I will write here alpha beta 1. And I will write alpha plus beta value negative 1. If you will think about one quadratic equation whose roots are alpha and beta. Suppose equation in variable t roots are alpha and beta. Then our first equation is for product of roots. Second equation is for sum of roots. So we can write equation t square minus alpha plus beta times t plus alpha beta equal to 0 using Vita's method. Now we have to apply both the values. Alpha plus beta is negative 1. Alpha times beta is plus 1. So I can write t square plus t plus 1 equal to 0. This is one quadratic equation. I will check our equation at t equal to 1. Will it satisfy our equation? Let us check 1 plus 1 plus 1. LHS is 3 but RHS is 0 which is not true. So we can say t cannot be equal to 1 for our quadratic equation t square plus t plus 1 equal to 0. So, I can multiply both sides by t minus 1. Let us multiply both sides by t minus 1. So, we will write t square plus t plus 1. In RHS, we will write 0 times t minus 1. Remember, t cannot be 1. Now, from LHS, we can write this is one algebraic formula. t cube minus 1 cube. RHS will be flat 0. 0 times t minus 1 is 0. 
Now we will add 1 to both sides. We will get t cube equal to 1, where t cannot be 1. So I can write t cube equal to 1. Important point is t cannot be equal to 1. Now roots of quadratic were alpha and beta. So I can plug in t equal to alpha, t equal to beta anytime. Let us put t equal to alpha. So I will get our first important equation alpha cube equal to 1. And once I will put t equal to beta, we will get our second equation beta cube equal to 1. Very, very important equations. Now we will write our required expression E, which was 3 power 50 times alpha power 50 plus beta power 50. Now I will use exponent law and write 3 power 50 as it is. Now we can write alpha power 50 as alpha power 48 plus 2. Similarly, for beta power 50, we can write beta power 48 plus 2. This will be equal to 3 power 50. And in bracket, I can write alpha power 48 times alpha square plus beta power 48 times beta square. Here I have used Exponent law a power b plus c. Any time we can write a power b times a power c. Now we can write alpha power 48 and beta power 48. Let me write our expression e first. Here it is. Now we can write alpha power 48. So we will write 3 power 50 as it is. Alpha power 48 will be alpha cube and then we will put whole power 16. 16 times 3 is 48 times alpha square. Similarly, for beta power 48, we can write beta cube whole power 16 times beta square. Now we have two very, very important equations, alpha cube equal to 1, beta cube equal to 1, which we are applying here and here. So I can write expression E equal to 3 power 50. In bracket, we'll write 1 power 16 times alpha square plus 1 power 16 times beta square. Now 1 power 16 is 1. So we can easily write 3 power 50 in bracket alpha square plus beta square. Now we can use one algebraic formula. Alpha square plus beta square can be written as alpha plus beta whole square minus 2 times alpha beta. Now we know that alpha beta is 1, alpha plus beta is minus 1. So 3 power 50 in bracket minus 1 whole square minus 2 times 1. Value will come out 3 power 50 in bracket will get 1 minus 2. So our final answer becomes minus of 3 power 50. I hope friends you will like this video. Thank you so very much for watching. Do not forget to like, share and subscribe. Bye bye till next video. Good luck. Take care. Bye bye.